Hi. Okay, so now let's try to do a reverse engineering to this uh, I love Greece fan that is writing via LED uh, this uh, display. Okay, so first I did try uh, to see how many pixel I have per 180 degrees which is half of this this circle so I could count 35 pixels in a quarter so it looks like it have about 70 pixel uh, for half circle in order to be able to display uh, this 70 pixel of course I have to turn on and off each of them and to create what we, are, we can see now. Okay, so this can be done only in one way before I'm taking it apart. So I will explain how it can be. So if it is our circle, so the only thing is that we need to synchronize the start point and to be able to synchronize it every time and it doesn't matter if the point is here or is here but we have to create some kind of a pulse in the oscilloscope we will be able to see it so we need to have something like this and then and then we will have uh, let's say a zero volt and then we will have in the second second uh, turn another flip so if we will take this edge and this edge so I believe that from this point to this point we have all the 360 degrees which means that when I move from this point to this point and do one circle and then I will have another pulse so this is my display data to all the circle so if I am taking this point as the start point and I'm displaying uh, all the pixel just at half of the circle so the data actually will be from this point to this point so how many data and how many times I have to turn on and off the LEDs let's see so I did some calculation and I will explain so if we have about 70 pixel in 180 degrees motor speed is unknown but I guess that this kind of DC motors are about 1000 RPM but this doesn't really matter but let's let's see what does it mean if it is doing 1000 RPM which means we have 16 rounds per second 16 rounds per second and since we have 70 pixels so we can say that we have to do 1120 changes uh, per pixel okay so actually the frequency should be 822 microseconds something like this I will try to see the motor speed actually I can I can see in the scope the motor speed because if I will look at the DC I will try to do it later so because we have coils so probably I will see something like this and I can count the frequency of the pulses uh, which is the discharge and charge uh, of the coil actually it should look something like coil uh, charge and discharge uh, we have actually if we are looking at the coil voltage so the coil 
of course the voltage we have jumps so we will have kind of jumps I guess because we have jumps uh, of voltage on the coil and we will be able to see the frequency of the jumps and this will be actually the RPM now about about my calculation so actually in order to make it work we just need to know the start point if you will have the start point then we are okay why is that because our eye can see about uh, to see something that looks solid if you will have more than 24 frames per second so if you will have 24 frames let's say this is enough so 24 frames and it doesn't matter how fast the motor will turn we just need to be able to find the start point and after the start we will do uh, the lead blinking uh, from this point to this point so basically if we have 70 pixel so 70 pixel and we will multiply it in 24 which is 24 frames uh, that the eye can see so I guess this is a good number to start to see all the data and the data is seen let's see again we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 LEDs in line so we can uh, control each LED independent basically I guess that this microcontroller have of course more than 7 GPIOs and that's all so uh, the frequency that we need in order to be able to do this is is uh, if this is the pixels and the frame per rate so the frequency this is a uh, will be a uh, one divided by this number and this is the let's say minimum frequency to get it uh, right correct to see it okay in our eyes so the let's do the calculation so I got this number this is divided by 1680 so the frequency per pixel or the time that we need to turn on and off each LED is uh, each uh, about 600 microseconds 600 microseconds this is not a problem to any microcontrollers that run let's say above uh, 10 megahertz today so we need to turn off and on uh, each 600 microsecond so what I'm curious to see is of course how did they create the pulse inside and how does the uh, electronics find the start point so let's disassemble and see it back again with this very nice writing I love Greece while all the LEDs are synchronized to one point at the start so I'm very curious how did they implement this okay so let's take it apart and see what we got inside okay so I will open it and try to understand where how it it is working and where is the synchronized point okay so I will take it apart now okay I think there is one screw unbelievable <laughs> no electronics it is working without any electronics 
Okay, I see here one capacitor on the motor in order to prevent spikes but of course this is not possible so the electronics is somewhere else and not here interesting okay so it should be here okay okay this is going off let's remove this one up 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 <laughs> okay so what do I see here okay as I'm expecting which means I have here I have here the voltage that should come to this net and this and this one okay let's let's see okay so let's see how it is working so I have here two springs that probably give the voltage from the batteries and another one that is connecting ground or VCC in every spin every cycle okay so I can see here in the PCB you can see that we have one net and the other is very small I really don't understand why they are doing it this way because there is no need to do the other uh, this one so uh, thin there is no need to do it like this okay because this conductor of course can be much wider it doesn't matter as long as it is not half of the circle here it can be anything and no need to do it so thin so I don't know why they did it like this let's search for the microcontroller let's see if I can get to it let's try to get into the controller okay here it is it is onboard chip that is doing everything here okay so here's the secret and this is the trigger trigger conductor and every spin it is synchronized in this point here okay so this is all the idea in this electronic circuit let's check the voltage if I'm right and and uh, actually using the springs in order to flow the voltage uh, into the circuit and the ground on the VCC to the other one let's see okay so of course now it will spin okay so let's see about the voltage okay as I thought we have all the voltage here and the spring is actually up it went off but this should be the ground probably yes so I have your ground and VCC and here I have what do I have here okay so this is the ground yes so this is ground okay as I was expecting okay so this is how it is working thank you and bye bye